Hey everyone, this is Cody from Weez and the Juice, and today I'm going to do my first video. I wanted to do a bit of a quick introduction, as well as following that up with a tutorial on how to rewrap your batteries. So first, I kind of wanted to let you know what I'm doing here. Over the last year, with the new FDA regulations, a lot of shops can no longer help you when your device breaks. and so that has left me with a lot of my friends approaching me asking me for help fixing their mods and pretty much anymore if you go to, if you go to a shop with a broken mod all they can really do is refer you to the manufacturer that leaves you with three choices you contact the manufacturer which usually doesn't get you anywhere and even if they do offer to fix it you're pretty much stuck without a device and paying shipping while you wait for your device to get fixed. Or you could buy a replacement, but that's more money. Or you could learn how to fix it yourself. That's a lot of time researching, and a lot of people don't even know where to start. So, luckily for me, I've always made it a point to learn about the devices I use just in case I ever get stuck in a situation where I have a problem and I can't get to a vape shop. <clears throat> I've also, over the last year, with all the high prices on premium juices, started making my own e-liquid. I've had several friends over the last year try different juices I've made and ask me to make them some. And when I told them how easy it is to make and how much less it costs you compared to what you pay for juice, they're interested in getting started. So this channel is pretty much for me to share any knowledge I have on anything vape related with you guys. And I'm sure you can probably find this elsewhere. You can probably find other videos even. This is mainly just for my friends. If it goes anywhere else, hey, cool. Um, so first off, uh, when you want to rewrap batteries, there's several reasons why you might want to rewrap your batteries. One, the obvious one being you damage the wrap. It happens. Uh, the reason my friend Will asked me for help on this, he got the new uh, Therion DNA 75. They're known for having a very tight battery compartment, and they're known for ripping the wraps on batteries and he's kind of stuck in a situation where he has no idea how to fix this and he doesn't really have too many vape shops near him. Some of them will rewrap your batteries for you, but not all of them will. Other reasons could be anything from you want to color match your batteries so that it's easier for you to keep your married sets together. Uh, several of us use devices that take two, three, four batteries and you want to keep your sets separated so that you're always using the same set at the same time. Color coding those by rewrapping them makes that easier. Uh, another reason could be that you just want your batteries to look cool. Uh, your LG batteries with your weird brown wraps, not everybody likes that. Other ones, they, they don't come with the neatest looking wraps, so they do make all kinds of uh, really neat wraps. They have Marvel characters, and you can get clear wraps even, and put your own prints under it, and customize them all you want. <coughs> now you can either buy pre-cut wraps, which if you do that, always check the size anyway, because they're probably going to come a little bit longer than you need. If they're shorter, well, that really sucks. You don't want your wrap to be too short and end up, you know, screwing your device up. So always check that. Otherwise, you can buy big rolls of battery wrap. I got mine on Fast Tech, really cheap. I think it was something like 89 cents. I got all kinds of different colors. I've got black, green, uh, blue. And then my most recent battery order, I got some pre-cut ones for free from 
IMR batteries. Really good source for buying batteries. And so it's not too difficult to do. All you really need are scissors, a hair dryer or a heat gun, and your battery wrap. You can find battery wraps probably at your local vape shop. You can probably find the the heat tubing or the heat shrink tubing at the local hardware store. Or you can order them online. I got mine on Fast Tech, like I said earlier. And yeah, it didn't cost me a whole lot. And I've got enough to last me quite a while. So for your 18650 batteries, you want to use the 29.5 millimeter wraps. They're usually either sold as 29 millimeter or 30 millimeter. Either or, it'll work. Um, if you're doing 26650 batteries, you want 43 millimeter wraps. As a general rule, when you're doing this, you want to measure your battery, find out how long it is, and add three millimeters to either end. Because when this stuff shrinks, obviously you're going to want to have some extra material there. So measure your batteries, find out how long they are, and add six millimeters. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera and demonstrate for you how to do this. Okay, so we're back and I chose to go with green. I pre-cut my wrap to make things easier and so here we go. As you can see, my battery has a tear in it. It shouldn't look like that. Not too bad. I mean, you could probably still use it, but it's probably best to rewrap it to be on the safe side. So, some people will say you can take a knife or a razor blade to get the rest of the wrap off. It's not always the best idea. If you damage the battery, you don't want to use it. So, I use my fingers and I will just peel the wrap off. And as you can see, there's there's like a little, almost like a plastic washer up here. You want to keep that on there. Because basically the body, the body of this battery is all the negative post. This top piece, that's your positive. So this little washer helps you separate your negative from positive and keeps your mod from making contact with both negative and positive at the same time on the same terminal. So let's go ahead and pull our wrap off and it's that easy. Now you have a battery without a wrap on it. Then we take our tubing and you just kind of just kind of use your fingers to move that open it up and then you stick your battery in and it will be kind of a tight fit okay so the way that you want to work this out you don't need a whole lot at the top because you have that washer there and on the bottom Usually, uh, some batteries will have a little bit of a button there. It's not a big deal, however you do it, as long as your positive can make contact with your mod and your negative can make contact with your mod. So, uh, a lot of you will probably use a hair dryer or a heat gun to do this. I'm going to use a heat gun because I don't have a hair dryer for obvious reasons. I shave my head. So I'm going to grab my heat gun and it's as simple as this. I turn this on and I'll start from the top and work my way to the bottom. Now you don't want to get too close to the battery because you don't want to heat it up too much but I mean you're probably fine.
Okay, and there you have it. As you can see, that went very quick. Um, I had to cut for a second to uh, set down my heat gun. But yeah, I mean, now you have a newly wrapped battery and you don't have to worry about it shorting out on the inside of your mod. I did my other one beforehand uh, just to test the lengths of my wraps and it's that simple. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind if you're going to use a heat gun use it on the low setting. They will work a lot faster than a hairdryer will. I'd recommend a hair dryer if you have one though. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back up top and finish this up. So there you go. Very simple, very cheap, very quick. Didn't take a whole lot of effort. It's a lot better than having to buy new batteries. That is if your batteries aren't damaged. One thing I really want to stress that to all of you guys is if you want to rewrap your batteries inspect them first make sure they're not damaged don't rewrap a damaged battery and use it the 10 to 15 dollars that you have to pay for a new battery is worth a lot more than paying to replace your teeth because you blew them out of your face using a damaged battery in your mod it's pretty easy to figure that out um, One thing I want to stress with you guys is anything that I teach you, you do at your own risk. Be smart about it. Be safe. Research everything you're doing. Research your mods you're using. Research your batteries that you're using. Don't be stupid about this. You don't want to blow yourself up. All you're trying to do is find a more healthy alternative to smoking. Don't put yourself in danger because of it. And that's pretty much it. So. I'll see you guys later. Uh, keep wheezing.